All right, Logic Lemur back again with another Sudoku. Uh, I just saw this one on Logic Masters Germany. I think it was uploaded a couple of days ago, maybe. Uh, it's called Quad Code by Marty Sears. And we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. All rows, columns, three by three boxes, okay. containing the digits one through nine once each. And we get into some more interesting stuff. So in this puzzle, each digit from one to nine is represented by a letter from A to I. You must determine which letter represents which digits. When discovered, these can be entered in the orange box at the bottom. I like how this is down here, where I can insert either possibilities or a final determination of what that digit is. So it's right here in front of me. I don't have to write it down or anything like that. The two by two area surrounding a quad circle must contain all that is represented by the letter in that circle. So if this was like one, two, three, four, these would have to be one, two, three, four in this box. We have to determine what fade. There's some nice words in here. Uh, so the next is the digits along a gray line can be divided into one or more non-overlapping group of adjacent cells, each of which sums to 10. So these two could be equal 10, these two equal 10, these two equal 10, etc. Somewhere there's some divisions on this line where a portion of it equals 10 and then another portion equals 10, etc. And they cannot overlap, so it couldn't be these three equal 10 and then these two equal 10. That doesn't work. And then lastly, the digits in the blue or yellow cage must sum to the total on the top left corner. And it looks like there's some fog in here, which is kind of interesting. And you notice it's covering whatever the heck these totals are. Although this blue thing is just a beast. So. Those, wait, oh, here we go. I didn't scroll down enough. Enter correct digits near the gray fog cells to clear the fog. No guessing is necessary. So yeah, if I guess the digit here that's correct, it'll clear out these couple pieces of fog. And I'll show me what's underneath here. And those are all the rules. So what do you say we give this one a chance? Hopefully uh, I can get through it. Let's get started. So. Ooh, wow. There is a lot of information on the screen. I might have to start using the lettering tools. Because I know, well, I know there has to be an A on this line because there has to be an A in somewhere in this group of four and somewhere in this group of four. So one of these has to be. So we're going to put an A there. Oh, it actually has to be AG. That works. AG. There has to be an E here. And this has to be a B. So there has to be an A down here, because this A sees the side. This has to be fade, that not being the A, as we previously discussed. Beef. OK, we got idea and bid. So there has to be an I and a D up here. B and B can't go in here because we got a B here and a B here. So it rules all these out. So there has to be a B down here and there has to be a B up here. Ah, here we go. Here's our first digit. This is a B because we have to have a B in this. We determined there couldn't be a B here, so one of these two had to be. So that's the B. Nope, wrong button. Okay, there's something. Means there has to be a B in one of these two. Could be this one. Could be one of these two. Don't know. Fib. Well, I do know. Fib. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm getting ahead of myself. Fib and beef just rules out B from being any of those. What else? 
Well, fib and fade. This has to be an F. Let's get rid of the Fs on these. So now there has to be an F in one of those two. Okay. There has to be an I and a D. Over here, because we've got an I and a D here and an I and a D here. This has to be ID, because acid and dye. Dye. So these have to be A and C. This has to have an E. There's two E's in beef, which is which means there has to be caddy corner for E. There. Because there's an A over here, these can't be the A for this one, so there has to be an A over here. This is going to get really cluttered, but tis what it is. Okay, what else? So this can't be a C. Any of these could be. I don't think that's all that helpful, is it? This can't be an E, so there has to be an E up here means this has to be an E because it has to attach to that, which gives me an E here. What else does that do? Well, that puts a B and an E. So there has to be a G over here. G doesn't do much for me that I can see. G. Let's put these in. They're I, D, and A. So there has to be an A up here. And there has to be an E up there. So A and E. I haven't watched that station in a long time. What else we got? I have a feeling, because I haven't even really started to associate numbers with anything yet, that we're going to end up pretty much figuring out where every of these letters are, and then figuring out what the actual uh, associated number is with them. So, there has to be an F up here. Wait, D and I. There has to be D and I here. Okay. So we've got D and I, D and I, D and I. D and I up there. Okay. We're slowly getting somewhere. So there has to be an E here. So this is not the E. A is in one of these. So there's no A in any of those, so one of these is an A. There's no A's in any of those, or there. So one of these is an A. One of these is a B. I kind of already knew. What else do we have here? We know there has to be an I and a B over here. Well, that, I guess it means there's no I in any of those. So one of these is an I. One of these is an I, so that's not I. Oh, oh. I don't hope you guys didn't hear that. My computer gave me a, a, a reminder of an event coming up. 
I think it just sounded in my headphones and not actually uh, on the game monitor, but if it did, that must have been fun. So... Don't quite know. What else we got? So there has to be an E over here. There has to be a C and an A over here. There has to be a D in one of these. Oh, there we go. This can't be a D. So this is a D. That's not D. So I've got my first word. Um, a, C, I, D. We know the E has to be over here. Like I said, we know it has to be Caddy corner, but this can never be an E. So this can't be an E. So this is the E, and this is an E. Which means that's a B. You're not an E. You're not E. Okay. Now, these have to be an F. So that's F, that's B. Oh, B has to be up here. F has to be... Well, I know what these are, don't I? These have to be... F, G, and H. Which means this is not G. This is G. Does that give me anything else down here? I don't think it does. We've got beg done. We've got beef done. We need a C and an H up here. So these are not A, D, or I. I should have seen that earlier. It means this is A. This is D. This is I. These are C and H. Don't think I know which order they go in. I do actually. That's H and that's C. Because there can't there had to be a C up here somewhere. So I need a C A here. Well these both have a C, so this has to be the C. So there has to be an A here, which means that's A. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Summers. A there. I need an I and an E. I don't know where the I is. Okay. Come on, let's keep going. Where's the C? Mm, I can't quite tell. There's gotta be something else here. That's not A, just saw that. F is in one of these. So this has to be I E F. That's not E. It has to be an F in here. There also has to be an I and an E to C's right here. Okay, so this is E I F I. Which means this is what am I looking at? A G. Which makes that not a B. It makes it something though. It's a C. Alright. 
that's not a B. So this is the B. Okay. I didn't think the fog would go for putting a B. It has to be the actual number. So that's good. Do I know where the F is in here? I don't think so. It can be in three places. What are these anyway? F, G, and H. And I don't think that helps me. I mean, I know G has to be down here, but the F and the H could be anywhere. One of these has to be a D. The F is either here or here. The G is right there. The H could be any of these. And then the I is either here or here. Okay. Well, I'm getting a little something. So what's next? So I know A and G equal 10. There's a G. So this has to be A. A. I can get rid of these A's. A and G equal 10. A and D do not. So D plus something has to equal G. Okay. That might be future to look at. Now if this was A, this would have to be G. I think it can be. So where does the A go in this bottom line? It's got to go there. That's got to be D. That's got to be E. The D gives me the I and the D. That's got to be D. That's got to be I. So what's left over here? I need a C. It's got to go there. And an H. C and A. Well, this is going somewhere. This is, this is H. I need an I and a B here. So that's IB. IB positive. You ain't poker me no needles. These have to be, well, this is a given. This is a C. And this is a G. So that's not D. Where is the next logical place? So I need an A in this line. We call that a column. A has to go there. B's there, C, D, E, the F. F could be there or either one of these. The G. Same. And then H is the same. There's nothing more going there. Okay, okay. I don't think we can do anything across these lines right now. So I know B and I together equal 10. So this has to be a BI pair. Which means that's not an I. Not an I. So the A has to go down here. The B and the C are there. The D cannot be in any of these. So it's got to be there. There's the D. So the B 
the F. The F could be in any of these. And the G. G can't be there, so this is an AG. Which means this is an F. Okay. What's next? C has to be in one of these two. So this is a BC. This has to be an HI. I don't think I have any, oop, not E, H-I, H-I, thank you, E-C, H-I, E-F-S, no, so there's no anything, so what are these three now? I know the E's over here, well this is an F or an I, it's not I, so it's F, I, not I, EF there, and this is a GH. Okay. These have to be EG. These have to be from FG and H. That's not F. And neither one of these is G. That's H. That's F. That's G. Okay. So now this is a BC. These. So I've got A, B, C, and D given. E could be any of the other ones. F is either down here or in here. G can be pretty much anything. I almost got a Chicago going on here. Don't know where that came from. Sorry. H could be almost anywhere. So that's not too helpful. Okay, that I separates the B and the I, gives me the B. So we said AG equals 10, so this has to be A or G. So that's G, that's A, that's G. That's A and G. Could have gotten that a couple different ways too, but what fun is that? So this has to be D E F it's deaf as heck. So that's D. This is not D. So that's an E F pair. I need a C up in this joint, and that's not it. E could be anywhere. And then F. Again, anywhere. And then H is the last one, this line. It can go anywhere too. Okay. So there has to be a B in here. Can't be there. So this is B. E can't be here. But it could be in these other three. The F not there. But any of these three. And then H could be any of them. And the I has to go over here somewhere. Okay. We're getting somewhere in letters. So I've got to be missing something. So F go with anything. No, I don't see the C, so if I could determine this is an F, I know this is a FC, but if this 
isn't an F, then this couldn't be a C. So am I missing something fairly obvious, maybe? What about the A's? Oh, I am A. G and A. The G's gonna give me the H. G. So A's are good. B's. X wing over there still. C's. X wing over there still. D. X wing. E. Really, F. No. G. There, there's the G. E and G. What about the E again? So one of these is an E. Not helpful. So let's go to the H. No, an I, another no, okay, well, I know a couple things, I know A and G equal 10, I know B and I equal 10, so B and F can't equal 10. C, B, so F, C does equal 10, so that's E, so I can start filling these in now. Um, B gives me C, B. What are these two? I need an F and an H. This is F or H. These can be a lot of things. Well, no. The E. This is an E. These have to be I, F, H. That's not F. Okay. So. Got a headache. Going here, I wonder if that that has to be intentional. Nothing like a headache in the middle of your Sudoku. <laughs> okay, so A and G ten, C and F ten, B and I are ten. What is that? Oh wait, B and I. This has to be I. D, D, I. So that can, can I determine what the five is by doing this? Because the 5 can't be A, G, F, C, B, I. So it has to be D, E, or H. Um, give me numbers here. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Let's put that there. So 5 has to be one of those. So we know that BI, FC, and AG are three different ways of making 10.
and the other two are from D or H. And I'm gar I can almost guarantee you, I guarantee you, that this is covering up a 10 line. And that'll tell me what they are. But I gotta figure out a digit first. So, A and G equals 10, but A and D do not. A, no. Is there any section on here that we know are equals 10? H and E, no. E and A, no. A and D, no. A and C, no. C and H, no. And H and E, no. H and E, no, it means I don't know if it's 10 or not. Sure would be nice to know what these digits are. So the only ones F, H, and I. So I don't think I can do any of this right. Def do the last bit of determination. F H. And I. No. K. does that mean? Not really anything I can divide this grid in to figure out what anything else equals. Because I know this equals 20, but these just equal 25 in some way, and I don't know what they are. So let's look back at the rules real quick, just to make sure I'm not missing something. No, nothing of use. So how do I figure out what the heck these letters correlate to digits wise. We know CF equals 10. We know AG equals 10. We know BI equals 10. We don't know anything about H, E, or D except that one of the pairs equals 10, and the other ones are 5. That almost worked. AG. F and C are one of those. Out still with the H E D. It's fifteen total. E. C F there. So that's ten. That's ten. Three plus one of those is ten. Okay, 
make sure I knew which one was five. Can I rule any of them out as five? I don't know that I can. Got this far, I'd hate to not be able to go any further. It's taken me 35 minutes to get to this stage too. We almost know what these equal, but that doesn't help me, I don't think. Because this blue box equals a lot, obviously, and minus these. But that doesn't really seem to do much good for me. I have to check out my headache again. No, I don't see anything there that's really helpful. So there has to be some way that I can differentiate one of these things as an actual digit. Because until I do that, I cannot progress. So where is it? You would think the logical item would have been the 5. But I don't think I can determine... which one of these 3 is the 5. This is just mocking me. Little foggy patch. Hate you. Where? Where? All right, let's just see where all these fives could be. That didn't do any good. A little stab in the dark, I think, on that one. So what do I know? I know some pairs that equal 10. I know this line has to somehow subdivide to equal multiple ways of making 10. At most, four ways. It can't be two, because then head and eight would both have to equal 10. But is that, maybe that is possible. It can't be, none of these are doubles. Right? No, this could be, a, no. Yeah, this one here could be, HE could be. And HE. Now if HE and HE equal 10. 
There'd be no way to break this up with her. Because it would have to be A plus a digit. And A plus a different digit. So H E cannot equal 10. So does that mean D has to be one of the ones that isn't five. So one of H or E has to be five, I think is what I'm saying. Because if D was the five, H and E would have to equal 10 because they would be the only ones left over. And I've just determined that they cannot be. So D is not five. So H or E is 5. And then it's going to have to be. And then the other one has to be lower than 5. So it's going to be a 5 plus 2 digits that equal 5. And I guess that I can't be 4. Because then head and ache would have to equal. Is that possible? So let's say E was 5. Hypothetical situation here. If E is 5 and HCA equals 5, that would mean E is 5 and ADH also equal 5, which doesn't work, obviously. So, did I learn anything from that little exercise? One of these is five. The other one has to be a combination of two digits that equals five. Same thing occurs here, which means D and A What do you... 10. But A and G equal 10. So A and D couldn't equal 10. So where did I screw up that logic? Okay. H or E is a 5. It has to be two other digits to equal that. So those would have to be five. I mean, those would have to equal ten, which they can't do. So did I make the incorrect assumption that D was not five? Let's look back at it again. If D is 5, then E and H have to equal 10. So these are both 10. So then A, D, A, C would equal 10. Because A, D, and A, C can't equal 10. I think that's what it has to be then. So I think I made the wrong assumption. So D is 5. Because the other way to look at it would say if D isn't the 5, then I go back to logic that just didn't work. H E would equal 10. H E would equal 10. I mean, no, sorry. H E plus something else equals 10. H E plus something else would equal 10. But you'd have two different things adding to the same thing to equal 10. So D is 5. So I took a wrong turn back there. So if that's correct, and I type this in, that fog should clear. A, got it. Okay, D is 5. So 
So that tells me now that this cage equals AA. I should have known it was not going to tell me an actual number. But give me a, a letter combination. So, going back to that now. H and E equal 10. So, A has to be low, and so is C. So there's two A's adding to a C to equal 5. So the A is either 1 or 2. If it's 1, C is 3. If it's 2, C is 1. So A either is 1 or 2. So these are either 11 or 22. Is it possible for this to be 11? No, that's 15 minimum. So A is 2, which means C is 1. 2, yep, that clears it. C's are 1. Okay, oh, <laughs> nice. Not only did we have a headache, but we also have a big box. So G and E have to equal what? They have to equal 14. And they can't be 9, 5. Because D is 5. So they have to be 8, 6. Uh, and G has to go with 2. So it's 8, 6. So G is 8, E is 6. Now F has to be 9. So that equals 10. Okay. So we know H is 4. So this equals 10. And these are left over at 3 and 7. Okay. So what does blue equal? It equals big. So it's either 3, 1, 8, or 7, 3, 8. I guarantee you it's not 738. Or sorry. Yeah, 738. Because uh, 45 times 9 is 405. So it has to be the B is 3, the I is 7. So B is 3, I is 7. Oh, that's 3 in the corner. Oops, sorry, I is 7. What's left over? Do I still have any letters out there? Yeah, I've got... Yes, I'm going to have to do this. So H and I, let me get rid of the lettering now. 4, 7. I is 7. F is 9, H is 4, so let's get rid of, so it's 49, 47, 4, 7, 9, 47, 4, 7, 9, like that, F and H are 4 and 9, Or nine. It's an I was seven going that way. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Now we gotta add up the big. So I said 
405 is the total. Minus 22. Minus whatever this is. And that has to equal EIG 318. 378. Sorry, 378. So that is 5. So this has to be 4. Uh, give me my numbers back. That's 4. That's 7. 9. 7. 4. 9. 4. 9. 4. And there we go. <laughs> that was quite the puzzle. Really interesting. I mean, I, I, I love the fact that these were all hidden. And it said hide in here. I didn't realize that. But the headache and big were just hilarious. So, awesome Sudoku, quad code by Marty Sears. Couldn't have been more happy with this one. Took me a little while, struggled for a little bit, but got, you know, got all the letters in there finally and was able to make that correlation as to what, what five was. And then we could, uh, go from there. So hope you enjoyed that puzzle. Hope that you enjoyed that solve. And uh, I'll get back with you another one later.